Hi, I'm Jason. So I got a viewer comment on one of my videos about erasing your computer before you sell it or donate it or even throw it away. And that question was, does this process remove the files on all of your drives or just your C drive? So that is a really good question. I'm going to get to the bottom of that right now. So what I have here, this is a virtual computer I've loaded up and I've actually assigned it a regular C drive and then also two additional hard disk drives. So on each drive I put additional data like you can see here there's things that aren't normally in Windows like this file NetScan, Sierra Setup, VM Player. I even put a folder called data on the C drive and just loaded some random random drivers and things in there so we can tell later if it actually did erase it. So I know the process works great for C drive but I also added a D drive or actually E drive in this case and there's some sample files and data on this one. It's a 10 gigabyte drive um, that I partitioned off in VMware. And then here's even another drive, F drive. So I've loaded a big Windows ISO file, another data folder. So as you can see, we've got data all over the place on multiple drives. So just like my original video said, we're gonna go ahead and do a reset on this computer and see what happens at the very end. And also more importantly, let's see what the choices are during the reset. So if you go in here and type in reset and reset this PC, We'll go ahead and get started, and I'll just walk you through it. So, of course, we want to do remove everything, like assuming there's absolutely not one thing on any drive you'd ever want to keep on this computer. Let's do that one. And the most important part to make sure somebody can't actually bring your data back from the dead is to use the clean drive or clean data option. We'll get to that in a second. So for this we'll choose local reinstall just to keep things speedy and definitely right here the most important part click the change settings link and where it says clean data definitely click yes. That means that your files will not be recoverable with a simple file delete undeletion tool. And then this is the trick right here where it says delete files from all drives. So that's the title of that. And then we have to look real careful at what it's doing. So down here it says no only Windows drives. So I'm going to click on that. Now it says yes all drives and it describes that as delete all files from all drives. Clean data option will apply to all drives. So that tells me right there anything plugged into this computer that's a storage device. Uh, well, I'll say any drives. I don't know if flash drives are included as that. But any storage device that's a, considered a hard drive will get cleaned using this procedure. So let's go ahead and test it out. I'm going to put this on like super speed, fast forward, warp speed ahead just to get through it. But um, in the very end, we'll check on it and actually see for ourselves that um, the E and F drive are blank and the extra data folders that I left on C drive are blank. And also I have, um, you know, all these files on the desktop, they should be gone as well. So I'll get to it and I'll see you at the end. So here's the moment we've all been waiting for. Just like you guys, I want to know too, how did it do? Did it do a good job and erase all the data from the secondary drives? So let's get to it. Let's open up the Windows Explorer. It might run a little bit slow because it's still kind of booting up. Uh, we'll open up this PC, go to the C drive. And if you remember, I had a data folder and some files right on the root directory. So I do not see those. Also, I don't see the files that were on the desktop of the previous user profile. I want to follow that up too by actually going into the users folder and let's see here default user zero that's just the junk folder from Windows setup public and user so it looks like there only is this one user account and this one user account doesn't appear to really have any data so this is a new blank profile the data does look like it was completely erased from the C drive so that's a good first start now let's click on this PC I had two other drives so here's uh, the drive letters are different, but no biggie. It says E drive, which right now is being called D, um, and the DVD drive got rearranged down here. So let's open this up, and it has been emptied out. And then also the other drive, the F drive it's called, is also blank. So by using the selections that you saw at the beginning of this video, it did successfully clear the data 
on all hard drives just like we set it to. So now if you have a computer with recovery partitions and uh, anything that has a drive letter, extra hard disk drives, extra SSD stuck inside, extra mechanical drive stuck inside, it looks like say, setting it up the way that we did did erase everything. So that answers the question. Well, thanks so much for making it this far in the video. You guys are actually my true subscribers. I really want to build a community, uh, do more future uh, videos that give tech tips and, you know, just let us all have fun and learn. So if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. That'll uh, help me keep making more videos in the future. I love seeing the channel grow and, you know, it gets excited. And this thing could actually take off pretty big if I have enough of you join me for the ride so anyway that's the answer have a great rest of your day and uh now we're smarter than we were thanks